Hey, what up, people? This is BLA, John Blood, aka the Super Truck. Your favorite truck, favorite truck, make me your favorite truck. Truck is like, all the back. Hey, look, I don't know who did it. I told y'all, I don't know who put a curse on me. But y'all really tried it today. Whatever Denny you sent after me, oh yeah, that motherfucker tried to take me out today. But one thing about it, I'm, a sk I'm skilled at my craft. And you can do anything. But one thing you ain't gonna take me out, you ain't gonna take me out while I'm driving. That's for sure. But you tried. You tried. Here's how you tried. Here's how you tried. Westbound 64, west side of Richmond. Motherfucker broke my whole goddamn steering wheel off. My entire steering wheel just came off while I was driving. And I'm loaded. But guess what? I didn't lose that trailer. I didn't lose that load. Take skill to keep that. I didn't lose that load, motherfucker. Let's talk about you, man. So what you been into, man, before, uh, you know, before we talk about the accident. But what you what you been into? How, how's uh, man. how you been doing since COVID? Man? I mean, it was good for a minute, but these last two months, man, it's like, Oh no, man! It's, I just feel like somebody just put a somebody put a some type of spiritual hit on me or something. <laughs> Damn it, man! Well, you know, know well, you know, I, uh, you, you know, I, you know, I came down with COVID earlier uh, this year, man. And yeah, I think that. Yeah, I, yeah, I came down with COVID early this year, man, and I, I was fucked up. I was like. I, I was damn near where you was at at one point, man. You know, when we was talking about your, you know, your situation and everything. But, uh, but you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm a little bit good. I don't have, you know, I don't have pneumonia no more. So that's, that's a good thing. But, but since, uh, since COVID, man, how, how, how you been, you know, how you been doing? How, how you been keeping yourself, uh, COVID free, bro? Man, you no, know, just following my protocols and going less places. Like I'm real selective for where I where I stop at or where I go now. Like I'm more selective than what I used to be, even though my dumb ass did go to the Cat Williams show. <laughs> but hey, I wanted to enjoy myself. Yeah, I still uh I need some laughs. I I still go to the casinos and all like that, but I'm I'm st I stay masked up and you know, I keep a bottle of, uh, you know, I keep a bottle of uh, sanitizer with me all the time so that, you know, when I mess yeah. with chips and, you know, all like that, I'm able to, you know, wipe my hands down and shit. So, but, um, but yeah, and it's still, you know, we, we, we still getting treated like second class citizens out here, man. Uh, the food selection is still still fucked up for us you know we man still... it's beyond fucked up how about when you walk in the truck stop the restaurants is fucking closed period period tell me why i had to go over to the motherfucking drive through uh the the the, the order the food now i'm like yo ain't, ain't ain't we supposed to be coming up out of this covid thing like why are y'all still fucking closed you know but they over here talking about they they over here talking about they they still talking about they don't have nobody to they don't have nobody to work, you know. Too many people living off their free money. They still like I don't get it, man. Everybody's hiring right now, and they still ain't got and motherfuckers is still just sitting at the crib chilling. Like you know, I don't know. I don't get it, man. It's shit. I'm sitting up here busting my goddamn ass for real, man. It's and. You know, and again, like I said, we and we are still getting treated like second class citizens. Still can't go into the, we still can't go into the shippers or receivers restroom and shit. Uh, we we. I ain't ever on you public bathrooms anyway. I ain't tripping on that shit. Yeah. All right, man. So uh, the, the 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 accident what happened yesterday? When when did the accident? Yeah, yesterday. All right, yesterday. so. So you you know you you talking to your trucker buddy and everything and uh, all of a sudden all hell just broke loose. What 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 happened? 
dog, the only thing I can tell you is the steering wheel came off. Well, you like the steering wheel, like what? Just the steering you wheel literally the... came the fuck off. <laughs> oh, there ain't nothing to laugh about. But was it in the shop? What was your truck in the shop or something? And see, that's and that and that's another thing oh, that I'm going to address because I don't. I got to call a lawyer. I'm calling the lawyer. As my fact, and I called the motherfucker. I'm waiting on them to call me back because it's somebody that I've been dealing with for years. Oh, but. Man. Yeah, so I'm not going to speak on that right now, but right, 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 yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. All right, so a- after that, you just pretty much lost control and just, just ran into the just ran into the guardrail? It, 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 it really wasn't a losing control, but technically it was a losing control because I didn't have control. Mm-hmm. But I had options. And, you know, like I said, I've been doing this since 99. So it's like when when the steering wheel, I'm sitting there looking at the steering wheel in my left hand like, dog. So the first thing I did was I took my truck out of gear. Mm-hmm. And I wanted, to, I wanted to grab that Johnson bar. But right. the thing about the Johnson bar is the load I had only weighed 6,500 pounds. So... Being in the left lane like that, and I pull that Johnson bar down, mm-hmm. coming out of 70 miles an hour, if I pull that Johnson bar, I could lock them trailer brakes up, and that trailer could swing either way, which that's going to create a worse situation. So I ended up just just um, letting the engine brake kick in. Mm-hmm. But that didn't kick in but so much because, once again, I took the truck out of gear. So I just... I. Just I didn't mash on my own um, service brake, but I, I eased up on it and it went to the left and just rolled that rail. And <sighs> shit, I seen that twenty foot I seen that drop in that ditch, man. I was like, man, please don't let this low I mean, I ain't gonna front, man. I pretty much thought my truck was gonna roll. And um Yeah, man. That oh, that that shit was scary. Divine, yeah, that, that, divine, that, that, divine intervention that that rail was there to to. to and when to, I to yeah, stop. because if it wasn't, it was either some rail or some tree, because right before the rail was the trees, mm-hmm. and then that rail, that rail, the do the tow guy said because the tow guy noticed because he actually fell down that motherfucker fell, fell down in that ditch. That mm-hmm. was a twenty. That was a twenty foot drop from the road to the bottom of that ditch. A twenty foot drop, bro. But the fact that the way that the way that I was able to apply the brakes and ride that rail, man, and then, and then the thing about that rail, if that rail had a went up about six inches, it would have took my whole left leg off. It would have came in the truck and took my whole leg off. So. Ace man, again, I, I I am glad that, and this you you know what you know for for what you did that's, you know that's that's experience right there that you was able to, you know I I, I don't think I don't think a new jack wouldn't I, I think a new jack probably would have froze, and. And, that's very bad said, so. Yeah, a new a new jack probably would have froze, man, and, 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 and wrote and would have would have went down that ditch, man. I mean, you know what you did, you, you know your 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 instinct kicked in, your 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 experience on how to handle a truck kicked in. You know, really, it wasn't that because I couldn't. Once again, I could not control the truck. So, uh, what I I, I want to say, I want to say. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna call this because the thing about y'all new, the thing about new breeds mm-hmm. and this new era, they got a name for every damn thing. Which, mm-hmm. which shit from my era, we just do it, but they got a name for it now. It's like control breaking. Mm-hmm. I really control my breaking because that's the only thing that was gonna help. So, so you took it out. Yeah, you you yeah, took I, it out of gear. I, I you put it. Say, I, you took it out of gear and just control brake all the way, all the way to the stop. To the stop, yeah. 
It's like I applied. It's like it wasn't a stab breaking. It was more of control breaking mm-hmm. because I wasn't slamming on the brakes because the last thing I need, like I said, the load only weighs 6,500 pounds. Load weighed less than 7,000 pounds, my dude. You see what I'm saying? I'm literally driving empty. Where where were you when Even when so, this happened? Uh, the west side of Richmond, Virginia, around the one sixty nine point eight mile mark. All right, you from you you from that area, ain't you? You 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 I'm stay seven six. You you stay close to home like a motherfucker, don't you? Don't I? You just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me no over the road truck driver. <laughs> man, I go out and I come right back. I go out and I come right back. That's what's up, man. That's it's what's like up. I ain't gonna front, man. I'm the, I'm I'm Mr. P Town. I'm Mr. Portsmouth, Virginia. Right. Because it's like anytime I leave Portsmouth, Virginia for more than a week, I get sick. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy. It might, it might, it might even be a psychological thing. But when I leave, if I leave my city more than a week, I get sick every time. God damn! <laughs> you like, let me hurry up and get back. <laughs> Word. <laughs> you say, let me hurry up and get back, man. Um. You 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 definitely got a lot of a lot of well wishes and a lot of comments in the uh in the uh in in the group, man. Uh I haven't went over uh any of the comments, but same uh, was there any bullshit comments that came through that 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 you saw, if any? Man, listen, I'm gonna say the one comment. The one comment that get on my nerve, mm-hmm. and it's coming from new breeds, but they don't know no better. Right. Is, well, a good pre trip would have prevented that. Bitch, if you don't <laughs> shut that shit up to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, I mean, you know, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see is my fucking steering wheel. So I mean, what I mean, what you know? <laughs> Every time I see it, man, I went back and forth with a dude this morning. About, you know, a good pre-trip, like, bitch. If you don't stop saying that shit to me, <laughs> uh, you say you, you say ease back, <laughs> Junior. How, how long you been driving all together? This year makes what for you? Okay, you know I have a a uh, a hiatus in there. Right, right. So I started driving trucks back in 1999, mm. right before the summer of 1999. God damn it, man! We, we we talking we talking years right here for this man. Decades, talking decades. <laughs> um, 1999, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. uh. I started driving tractor trailers late summer of 1999. Okay. Because I was driving dump trucks first. Then uh, I acquired my first truck late 2000, but I was still full of containers, though. Okay. Um, then I had a... Uh, major accident that totaled that truck another drive as a matter of fact another driver ran my truck off the road mm-hmm. and uh it totaled that out uh back in oh four so, yeah back in oh four so, so then uh so this accident I was wasn't some other this, shit. this accident wasn't your first accident nah but it was by far the worst by far the worst okay um, and none of them assets has been my fault. I was never charged with. I was never at fault. None of them. The first one, the first one, the guy, uh, clipped my front end from money. Me, he actually went to jail for that too because he, he uh he was reckless driving and his license was suspended. Mm. So he actually got locked up for that. 
Um, right, that was the first one. How, how many? How many all together before before this one, Ace? Two. So this makes three. What was the What was the second one? The second one was road conditions caused by a four wheeler. It was uh snow. As a matter of fact, up there in that same damn area, <laughs> right there with sixty four and two ninety five meet up. Uh huh. They said I was coming in that day. I was coming in. I had a twenty foot container, and a, um, it was icy out. And a four wheeler, a four wheeler, lost control and got up under my trailer. Oh man! I didn't get charged with. I didn't get charged with that. Uh, that was the, definitely the four wheeler's fault. Right. Um. With this accident right here, you. You of course you had to fill out a police report. What did it? What did the? What did the I cops? I didn't fill out enough. Oh, you didn't. Oh, well, did did the cops show up? But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. They were called. Uh, you can actually see the gentleman in the video. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, if you want to pull the video, uh, you can see that gentleman standing. He was the one who was actually calling the. Uh, the he was calling. The people yeah and when i asked when i looked at him and asked him what he called on the people i went on and proceeded to make my other series of phone calls because right. my protocol is you know from being out here so much to, mm-hmm. when it, if something happens the first people i'm gonna call is uh the office right i'm gonna even talk to the owner or the safety guy so it right. don't matter that's gonna be my first phone call my second phone call is going to be to the third authorities. Then my next phone call is going to be to the broker. But being that that dude was already on the phone with the authorities, mm-hmm. I went on, I went on there and called my broker. So. All right, yo, you, 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 you and that young lady still together, right? You, you called her up, and what will she say? Oh, uh, you talking about Rochelle, right? Yeah. Yeah, the one who, yeah. Um, man, she was just, you know, she gets over-animated. <laughs> she gets really animated really quick. So when I tell her stuff, she like my mom. Like, I had to treat her like my mom because, like, my mom, she like, I try to keep her from, I, you know, when she was alive, I tried to keep her from worrying. Right. So before I tell her something, I got to ease her into it a little bit. Right. So that's what I had to do with Roche. That's why I gotta do a lot with with my girl so she don't Oh my god, I don't know where you are, where you are. So yeah, she's, I had to ease her in she, She's a truck driver too, right? Yep. Oh. Oh, she's on operator too. As a matter of fact, she just came up, man. A door a a a, a, a door opportunity just opened up for her and she walked straight through it, boy. She like, Yeah. I'm like, great. That's what's up, man. All right. So, of course, we're not going to get into too much uh, detail. So, as of as of right now, you uh, you just on pause right now, or the company going to give you a loaner truck, or was was that's, you know that's what I'm trying to track down now. I'm trying to track down a rental truck. It don't seem to be any available anywhere. I called a couple of my homeboys and mm-hmm. they pretty much got drivers in them because they they pull a container so you know, right. we got a whole bunch of lazy ass local drivers running around here scared to leave home so <laughs> um uh yeah so i'm pretty much gonna just route on because you know with the company that i'm with i've been over here so long and um so trusted that i could book like one of the company drivers or even one another one of the owner operators which a couple of the owner operators are over here because of me. Mm-hmm. Um, I could easily book them a load here to recover my trailer and go ahead on deliver it, then bring my trailer right back. I could book that load. I could I could book them loads myself. I'm just okay. really I'm trying to use that as a last resort. Right. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to see if I could somebody let me use their truck or whatever, and I could go ahead on and do it myself first before I utilize. Before I go ahead on, just like turn that load all the way over because that motherfucker paid too goddamn good. Is is this the same company that uh, that you and Thor is with? 
Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. I got, I'm the one who got Thor over here. Thor, listen, as a matter of fact, Blue Collar was trying to get Thor over here before. Right. And then I came over here, and I was like, yo, man, yo, you need to come check this out. Man, it was like two and a half years, almost three years before this dude came over here. And he come over here like, man, I wish I had a deal that we all first told me. Like, dude, seriously. <laughs> You say seriously. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> all right, Ace, man. Well, I'm I'm glad you're all right. I'm I'm glad that you took time out to to chop it up with me and you know to let me know your story, man. And uh, you know, more power to you uh, once again. I'm 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 definitely glad that uh that divine intervention, the the most high was 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 there with you, you know what I'm saying? So Man, I you know I was I seen the I seen the Facebook post and I'm going like wait that's that's not that's that's not my man's is it? Let me call this. Let me let me call uh, him up right quick and 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 holler at my G. So, man, hey, if you want to cash out me some man, cash out me some enough for two Long Island iced teas and a shot of vodka. <laughs> enough to sit my ass down. <laughs> 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 hey, look, I'm going to cash up no you, right. bro. I'm going to cash up you enough to, 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 to get you a cup of coffee and, and get and, and, and hold up because you, you should have drunk that shit yesterday, bro. Dog, listen. <laughs> when my sister came and got me, right? Mm -hmm. That's what man, I was calling. I was calling. I was calling. I was calling. I called a couple friends. I said, I need a DD. I need a DD tonight. It's like. <laughs> What you mean a DD for? I said, because I'm trying to drink to the point where I can't remember these last two months. Because it's been a series. It's been something, 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 something. First, it was a deer squaring off of my truck. Then it was a motherfucker backing into my truck. And now this shit happened. On the, on top of a whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of business shit. So it's like, yo, man, like when? Yeah, when like, is it going to stop? You, you just get hit. So like you just I said, I was trying to, right. I was trying to get it last night. But when we, we when we stopped at the store, when when I calmed down, when I settled down on the way back to the Seven City, mm -hmm. when we stopped at the store, I got out of the car and and literally went straight to the ground. And it's like, it's like, man, it was so much pain in my goddamn leg. My my arm. after after we came after we left the store, my sister drove me straight to the hospital. And I got a sprain in my right ankle and my left knee. And you said if that, and, and you said if you hadn't rode the rail and then if it was up a little more, you, you wouldn't even have that. I would have lost my whole left leg. At least my left leg. At least <sighs> my left leg. Bro, again, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. You know, you know, this, this, you know, this, this job, is 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 stressful enough man you know and it it, it takes a it takes a special kind of somebody to do this shit and see that's the thing about it see this and this is going on into a whole nother conversation to be honest with you mm -hmm. because people a lot of stuff a lot of incidents and stuff right now is happening because a lot of people look at this as a job and it's not just a job it's more than a job this is literally a, a, a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. This is this is a real skill field that you got to be in. And there's a lot of people that's out here that they ain't got no business out here because they looking at it as just a regular job, something that they want to do just to do and then get to get the fuck gone. Yeah. And that's not how this how this works. It yeah. takes skill for this. It takes precision for this. That's why I refuse to drive an automatic because I will not be like one of them. You know, Ace Man, it's it's way too many motherfucking social media types out there that keeps that that's that's over here hustling these ordinary people into this industry and then the ordinary people get into this industry not even understanding what's going on or what's going through or what's, what they or what the, exactly. what's the sacrifices but yet they they paying these social media types 500 a thousand fourteen hundred dollars I, I I could teach you how to how, how to get six figures. Come on into come on into trucking, and 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 they they do that, and then they get in it like, oh man, I this this ain't what I this this ain't what I thought it was. 
What do you what do you say about so, people that does that stuff, man? All I'm gonna say is like this. I'm gonna just tell you this. Back when I started driving, back in ninety nine, mm-hmm. and I was I would tell people like, Hey yo, like, yo, get the, get a CDL, man. Yo, this joint is yo, that's what it is, man. This joint like that. Mm-hmm. Because I was excited about it, but see you gotta look at my you gotta look at my bloodline too though. You see what I'm saying? So I tell people, oh, man, I don't know how to drive no stick shit. I don't know how to drive something that big. I'm like, it's nothing to it, man. It's like, but see, people was weeding themselves out back then. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But now they came out with these automatics. They done came out with these e laws. Now you got a whole bunch of new breed, a new a new breed of drivers that don't know how to do nothing but hold the damn steering wheel. And in my case, that's literally what I'm doing. <laughs> hold the fucking steering wheel. <laughs> You know, there's this there's this TikToker there's there's this TikToker on 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 TikTok right now. I I, I can't remember his name, but he's so he's so irritating. Uh, you know, over here talking mad nonsense about uh, about his version of of trucking, man. You know, so it's it's just people like it's just people like him. You know, people like him people that's on the social media people that's scamming people that's that's getting that's getting people into this industry that don't need to be in this industry yeah. so but see once again it goes along with the individual because like i said when i got into it and this is one reason why i appreciate a lot of people say that i'm cocky but I'm not really cocky. I'm just confident because I appreciate how I came into it. Because when I got my CDL, especially when I got my um uh, my A class license, when when that dude sent me to my A, to, sent me to the um, DMV to get my license, I came back with it. He handed me a keys and a radio. Said, "Go to the rail. You truck five. And I had to learn a lot of shit on my own. I had to listen to the old guys. I had to listen to the people. I had to call. Hey, yo, how you do this? I had to read a map. I had to learn how to read a road atlas, my dude. We didn't have navigation back then. You see what I'm saying? Mm. That's why I appreciate this shit so much because I learned a lot of this shit on my own. You see what I'm saying? But see now, now like I said, with these automatic, with these e laws and all that, you got you got this stuff doing stuff for you. Now you have a whole. Now anybody think they could do this stuff, and it's not an anybody type field. Mm. This is not an anybody type field, just like it wasn't an anybody type field back then. But you got so much technology that then came in, and for real, they pretty much setting the stage for these autonomous trucks. They set the stage for this because look, look, man, we ain't gonna get into all nah, that right we, now. That's nah. the whole other joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, too, too, too many, uh, too, too many TikTok truckers out here doing they, doing they TikTok dances and. And and over here, like if I can do it, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, come on. You know, I I I I, 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 I can't I can't I, I came in right when right when the turn of the of the automatics. You know, so luckily for me, I I learned and drive a a, a, a stick shift, a manual. You know, going up mountains. Yeah, I got my training in going up. Them mountains on the west coast, driving in, dri- sure. driving in incumbent weather up in Minnesota and Wisconsin and North Dakota, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I yeah, I, I came in just during that time. Now guys is coming in where where all companies have automatics, you know what I'm saying, and. And I, you know, like I said, I I respect I respect you guys and the guys before you, you know, by saying, hey, you know, we're we're steering wheel holders, but the companies, the companies that we working for, you know, we 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 don't have no choice in that shit unless we get our own truck, and not too you know many, what? and really, not too really many motherfuckers, do. not too really many, you do, not too many motherfuckers going to buy trucks. If if people listen. You say y'all don't have control. Really, you do. Because if people would go and tell these folks and make them treat them like people instead of just a number or a body in a truck, you'll get more respect. 
But nobody, they just take their orders and go. Why they just why, take orders and go like they like they fucking robots? Why why do you think why do you think we don't get the respect that we deserve now? <laughs> because people scared to slap somebody in the motherfucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> people scared to get, people scared of an assault charge. <laughs> people want to call the police every time you turn around. <laughs> Too much, uh, too much, uh, what does she call? I just said, too much bitch assness going on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, a, that's a disease. That's a, that's a, that's a disease. That boy said too that, much that's bitch disease, assness. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's a real disease, dog. Yeah, it's a real disease out here going right, man. That shit more, that shit worse than goddamn it, COVID. <laughs> it's called bitch assness. Bitch assness. No bullshit. <laughs> All right, my G. Well, man, you stay, man, you stay safe, man. Get your, get, get some rest. You know, I, I, I got you in my prayers, bro. And uh, I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we, you know, we back connected and you know, all like that, man. So we definitely, uh, you know, we definitely get back together when, whenever we need to talk. We probably might need to talk about that, uh, bitch assness next. Man, <laughs> hey. You got my number, dog. Stop calling me on Facebook message. I'll do that, man. I'll do that. I get. You know what? I'm going to make sure I lock this number in. <laughs> All right, I'm gone, man. I'm about to. Is is. <laughs>